I am Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals, here with a look at some of what's been making headlines this week. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. On Monday, it was reported that factory orders for goods made in the United States increased for the second consecutive month in April. Orders rose 0.4% for the month, according to the Commerce Department. The increase comes on the heels of a 0.6% gain in March. Year over year, orders increased 1.4% through April. Orders for durable goods rose 1.1% in April. However, orders for non-durable goods fell in April by 0.1%. That follows a drop of nearly 2% in March and represents the fifth time in the last six months that orders for non-durable goods have declined. Also on Monday, the Institute for Supply Management revealed that its Services Purchasing Managers Index for May came in above the expansionary threshold of 50, but just barely. Services PMI fell to a measure of 50.3 last month, down from the 51.9 posted in April. Heading into the week, the consensus forecast was for a measure of 52.1. On Wednesday, the Commerce Department reported a big jump in the trade deficit for April. The trade deficit surged 23% in April, to a six-month high of $74.6 billion. That's basically in line with the $75 billion figure that had been projected going into the week. Finally, the Federal Reserve reported that consumer credit grew at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 5.7% in April. The category of revolving credit which primarily represents credit card use, jumped at an annual rate of 13.1% in April. That's all for now. We'll see you again next week. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.